This is uh, experiment number nine. It's called Directions. I um, specifically made this one for this um, demographic. These are older people. That, it was at a, uh, uh, a senior's summer camp, which is kind of interesting, and a friend of mine was teaching there and asked me to do this. It's called Directions. They're pointing to the um, colors on the game board, and I thought I would have them have a section where they're sitting and standing and moving towards their, the direction of the game board. I gave them a simple instruction, wash your face. Um, everybody knows how to do that. These people knew each other because they they're all at this camp together, so they, they kind of had already had interrelationships. This one, they're eating a sandwich, another move that everybody knows how to do. I made the game board particularly small because I didn't know how, I really didn't know what their physical capabilities would be there. Turned out they were much better than I thought. But that's a good example of how you can adjust. Exactly, on... you can adjust based on the age of the group. This one, I wanted the um, one person to go to, at, to stand still at X, and then the other person to circle them one time, and then for them to leave. But as soon as she saw her partner, she <laughs> she left, so the circle wasn't completed. But hey. Now, this was interesting because they had their group hug and then they had to mobilize as a unit. So you kind of have to figure out how that works. Did you tell them which way to go or did you just tell yeah, them to I, go? Yeah, I, I told them clockwise and counterclockwise. Uh -huh. So it's getting more and more difficult to use that instruction because there are no clocks, clocks with <laughs> faces people. on yeah. them. Now they're having a little conversation because it's like, no, the color's over there. This is people who know each other before. So it's a little bit of a, a cognitive test also that they had pointed at the colors and now they have to um, move as a unit towards the colors. Remembering, Remembering where, because yeah. some of them are facing backwards towards Ex that color. Exactly, exactly. So it's really not intuitive at all. It's really not obvious. Then we go back to repeating the pointing to the colors. And we have this little relationship where they tap their person's on their side's shoulder, but they disagree on which direction to go. And the tapper goes, well, I don't know. And then we have a little commentary from the woman on the left about what she thinks about this exchange going on. That was the right color. Um, no, we're not going anywhere. So there's just standing up and sitting down. I didn't know if that was going to be um, more or less difficult. So what you have going on here is kind of a discussion, an agreement, and a disagreement of that color. Oh, no, this color. Let's go to that one. Yeah, this direction, that direction, mm -hmm. yeah of where, where we ought to be going. So it's, 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 a, it's a bit of indecision. Now, I was told that, that um, these people in particular like to drag chairs around. I don't know why, but um, I thought I would incorporate some chair dragging into the... Choreography of the piece. Yeah, exactly.
These, these were absolutely lovely women. What were their reactions? Um, they liked it a lot. They yeah. wanted to do it again. Yeah. And they wanted to, um, yeah, they wanted to learn more about, about the did whole thing. Did you do thing. any other experiments with them? Well, yeah, we did. We did um, ritual with them. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and the the head of the place has, at, for years afterwards, asked me every year if I would come back. Mm -hmm. um, but it was in Pennsylvania, so it was like a big long haul to get there yeah. with all the equipment. Yeah. <laughs> and essentially, I, I wanted to do the experiment to find out how um, older how it would, would it be to work with um, older people. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, be a great way to get them up and. And moving. And moving, without, yeah. The, yeah. These, these particular older people were um, in really good shape. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, TERP is exciting, so. Yeah. It's different than exercise where people might be like, ugh, yeah, I'm doing this. Yeah. You know, it has a different, has a different tack to it. Yeah. 